the WHO Southeast Asia region continues to pursue a gender responsive, equity oriented and human rights based approach to COVID-19. WHO guidance on delivering a gender sensitive response identifies six key asks, which I call on all health leaders and policy makers to fully adopt and implement. First, when recording cases of COVID-19, collect both age and sex disaggregated data. Preliminary country data show that COVID-19 infections among men compared to women vary from one in three cases to over 4.5 in five cases with similar variance in mortality. Enhanced data will help policymakers fine tune their COVID-19 response by providing a more accurate picture of the pandemic's social and biological drivers. Second, prevent and respond effectively to domestic violence, which has been exacerbated by the pandemic. Anecdotal evidence points to significant increases in violence against women in at least eight countries in the region. The effect of such violence has been compounded due to reduced access to key services such as crisis shelters and counseling, which should be restored as a matter of priority. Third, promote access to sexual and reproductive health services. WHO is supporting all countries in the region to ensure the continuity of sexual and reproductive health services as part of a wider commitment to maintain essential services and to thereby defend the region's many health gains. Fourth, protect and support all health workers, approximately 70% of whom are women. Across the region, health workers continue to show remarkable dedication and resolve, despite facing significant risks of infection. WHO continues to support countries to improve the availability of quality PPEs and to protect health workers from mental stress and burnout. Fifth, ensure equitable access to testing and treatment for COVID-19. Our response must at all times be rooted in the commitment to leave no one behind especially those from disadvantaged groups and communities, including women, sexual minorities, or older people. Equitable access to testing, treatment, and other services is crucial to ensuring that no group suffers a disproportionate burden of COVID-19 infections, deaths, or socioeconomic distress. And sixth, ensure responses are both inclusive and non-discriminatory. This means combating stigma associated with COVID-19 and ensuring respectful care for all. It also means applying proportionate social and public health measures that reflect local epidemiology. WHO will continue to support member states and partners in the region to apply a gender equity and human rights lens to every aspect of COVID-19 response. This will ensure that we not only improve public health, but also advance gender equality and the empowerment of all women everywhere.